Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will show you how to sideload this new IPA signing app, which do not require computer and comes loaded with features like full customization of apps, dedicated app repository, easy IPA signing ability to import multiple certificates with no tracking or analytics. We will get this done in three easy steps, which require you to watch this video till the end. So now, sit back, relax, and don't skip the video as it is only going to be five to seven minutes. All right, let's get started. This zip file and any other possible download links will be available in the description below. Once you download it, open it. Tap on the zip file and then on the share icon. Save the certificate zip file anywhere in your files app. In my case, I have saved it in a separate folder I created and named it as certificate. Next. Go back and launch the Files app and locate that certificate zip file, which we saved just now. Now tap on the file to extract it. Once extracted inside the extracted folder, you will find the mobile provision file and the P12 file respectively. Now launch Safari browser and type exactly Feather iOS GitHub. I can leave the link in the description. On the search results, tap on this first link, which says iOS Application Manager. This is the only official source to install Feather app, so do not download from unknown sources. On the GitHub page, tap on the releases hyperlink as shown. Then, on the next page, make sure to download the Feather IPA file, not the TIPA file. So once the Feather app is downloaded successfully, go back to the Feather homepage, scroll down and tap on this link, which says, visit the Feather wiki. On the next page under the table of contents, tap on this installation hyperlink under using an Apple developer account. Now under the installation section, tap on this Krava sign link highlighted in blue. Follow me carefully once you are on this website. First, tap on the field and import the Feather IPA file that we downloaded earlier. Just tap on the file to import it. Second, import the .mobile provision file from the extracted certificate zip file. If you are still watching, please like and subscribe. Once the mobile provision file is also imported, similarly import the P12 file too. Now enter the password, which is appleP12.com. Type it exactly the way it's shown on the screen as it is case sensitive. Once everything is done, tap on the upload and sign button after you get a pop-up saying that the file is uploaded now tap on the sign IPA button as shown. After the app is signed, just tap on copy URL and open it in a new browser tab by pasting the URL. Once you open it, you will get this pop-up. Just tap on the open option and then tap on the install button as shown in the video. Let's go back and as you can see, the Feather app is getting sideloaded successfully. But it is not done yet as we need to trust this certificate and then we are almost done with this process. Now go to settings and navigate to the general options and then to VPN and device management. Locate the name of the certificate and trust the developer certificate. Let's launch the app and you are greeted with this amazing interface. The sources section of the app allows you to add unlimited app repositories including alt store repositories. But for anything, let's import the certificate to do that tap on settings and scroll down. Tap on add certificate option feather supports, importing multiple certificates, tap again on add certificate. And now one by one add the mobile provision file and the P12 file, which we extracted from that certificate zip file earlier. Next, enter the password, which is applep12.com. Tap on the certificate so that this check mark appears right next to it. To sideload IPA files, tap on library and then on import. Now select the IPA you wish to sideload. I will sideload the INDS app now. Tap on the app and tap on sign here. You can customize your app by changing its name. I will change it to my channel's name. You can even change its version its app ID, 
add tweaks, remove dibs, and many more. Tap on Start Signing. Once the app is successfully signed, it will appear under the Sign App section. Finally, tap on the app and hit Install. To start the side loading process, tap on the Install button when you get this pop-up. As you can see, the INDS app is side-loaded successfully with the custom name. Let me show you that the app is also working fine.